What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a few different things. GPT-40 Mini just was released recently by OpenAI and it is their cheapest uh most efficient model for you know ef maintaining efficiency with cost effectiveness and you can see the evals here we're going to dive into it take a look at that show you how you can actually use it and we're also going to be looking at continue dev um, an extension in vs code it can also be used in JetBrains as well and how to actually set this up so you can start using this as an alternative to tools like uh, GitHub Copilot, or even Ader, or uh, Cloud Engineer. I did a video on Ader yesterday. We'll be doing more videos on Cloud Engineer, etc. So, show you how to set this up. You can leverage this with any model of your choice: GPT-40 Mini, Cloud Sonnet 3.5, even local models. We're going to show you how to use it with Olama and any model you choose. So, let's dive right in. Okay, so if you're not familiar with continue dev, I'll leave a, or I guess it's continue, continue.dev though. Um, I'll leave the link in the description to their website. You can check out their docs, you can check out their Discord, and I'll leave a link to the ChatGPT40 mini um, blog post release that they did. Essentially, what you're going to have to do, where you're going to have to, um, to actually use it, you're going to have to go to platform.openai.com. And you're going to have to get an API key. So you're going to go to your dashboard and log in. And you're going to get an API key. Uh, you just go to the API key section, get that API key, put it in a notepad, secure it, because we're going to use it in just a moment. All right. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open a VS Code new window here. Okay. Let me just open this. And we'll just go new, uh, open, actually, no, oops. We're going to open a folder. I'm just going to create a random test folder for the case of this video. Call this test. Okay. And I'm going to open this. Select. Okay, so now we're within our test project. What you're going to do is, I mean, you can use this with any, um, I mean, you can use this with JetBrains or VS Code. Um, we're going to be using VS Code. And what you're going to do, if you're not familiar with VS Code, you go to extensions here, and you're going to search continue. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see continue right here. This is their extension. You can simply just install it. You can read about it here. Uh, I believe they have a GitHub, or actually, I don't know if they have a GitHub. I don't know if they, yeah, I don't think this is, they just have the extension here. So you can read that here, check out their website. And they also have docs and like the community, like I said. So if you have any issues, there was a few issues that I've been seeing um, with a couple of things. Um, I, I believe they let us know in the discord, like there was a few bugs. Um, some of them are being fixed, but, um, this tool works really well from what I've been using it so far for, and it's very useful. Um, so yeah, once you install that, you will see it pop up over here on the left hand side. It will be one of these icons. I moved mine over here, right? So I just simply dragged it over here to the right call, uh, panel. But for the case of this video, just because my head is right here, I'm going to drag it back so we can see it on the left hand side here. Let me go here, continue. So once you're in continue dev, it's going to look like this. You can see I was chatting with it already, but um, if I wanted to do a new session, I could do that. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to press on the plus button. All right, that's going to give you the option to select a model. So you can start with a provider or select a specific model. So you can just go ahead and click for this case, open AI, but you can see here, we got a lot of different options, Grok, Together AI, uh, Olama, local, uh, local um, hosts or local LLMs, etc. So a lot of different options. And it even looks like they have their own um, something here. Like, oh, that's a proxy uh, for other services. It looks like, yeah. So anyways, once you do that, you'll be able to select like GPT-4, for example, or GPT-4.0, but you're not going to see GPT-4.0 mini just yet. They're probably going to update it very shortly. 
but you're going to actually have to go to config to open config right here and and you or you could either scroll down and click this or just click on this setting here and then configure but excuse me but what you're going to do is you are going to see right here um you'll see model and most likely for you it will say gpt 40 you're going to add a dash and then add a mini and you can do the same thing with the title here you can see the context length and you can see this system message right here so you could change this if you'd like here is where you're going to input your api key i just blanked mine out put some dummy text right here just for the sake of this video you're going to see the provider open AI. If you're using a different provider, you can change this, um, but you could also just change it here and then enter the model names. Okay. Um, you can see custom commands. So this is, I believe just dummy text right here, pretty much or cohesive set of unit tests for the selected code. Okay. So now it actually does have, this is yeah. Um, but you can add more or change this and then tab auto complete model so right now i'm using quen 2 uh, by olama uh, or using through olama um not by olama um so i'll tell you how to get that set up if you want to use that you don't have to use that you could you you could use gpt4 o mini but the reason why i'm using a local model is because just for auto complete it makes more sense just because you're going to save some uh it's going to be more cost efficient and you can leverage these open models that are actually really good, especially some of the smaller parameter models because um, you, really any machine can run them almost. Um, if you want to know what the what like the what uh, requirements you should have for your system to run um, the a specific model, maybe if it's bigger, you can just ask ChatGPT or Perplexity. But you should be able to run like something like this, the 1.5B uh, model. So. I'll show you how to do that um and also too if you were to run um like gpt4 o mini you would just add another api key value uh and um spot right here and then you would just put your api key there okay now i'm gonna show you how to um get quen to olama as well as i'll show you how to also uh if you do want to use um you know ai within the command prompt when you're coding i'll show you how to do that too in just a second okay so with uh continue it's really cool because you can ask it any question right here you can ask it follow-ups but you can also add content so you could click here and you could select um files right any file you have in your code base you could select code actually this is files like in your um thing but uh files code docs all right git diff um so you can reference the current git diff uh terminal reference the contents of the terminal problems reference problems problems in the current file folder uh, or automatically find relevant files in your entire code base all right so really cool you could also add more context providers so i really like how they have that option um as these tools these code ai developers get better and better i know that like probably within a year from now maybe even sooner it will just be like it can read the whole thing or the context or they're gonna have some crazy way so um to for these ai models to have more context what without maybe leveraging like a hybrid of who knows like rag mixed with like larger context mixed with like them releasing more powerful models and finding different whatever uh ways things work efficiently but who knows but I, I definitely even right now it's super super helpful for developing and coding but anyways so now you know how to use continue let's say you wanted to do some ai prompts within the command line just as a side note uh you could use this tool called gpt shell or shell gpt and you literally just run this installation uh pip install shell gpt so if I was over in my test, I go new terminal right here. And then I could just copy this. Go here. And you will see that it got installed. Then once you have it installed, you can actually go to your uh, main directory of your user, whatever you're in, and then conf .config shell gpt and then the file is dot sgp 
TRC, uh, or you could just use the command line to open a notepad with it or a Vim or a whatever. Um, but yeah, you're going to open this. And from that point, you can you know, add your opening I key right here. And you can also put the default model right here. So for me right here, you can see I'm using GPT-40 mini. All right. But you could use whatever model you like. All right. And then from that point on, I'm not going to save this. We go here. We can do like this. So GP, uh, SGPT, what's up? Or how's your day going and you can see here i'm ready to assist you with your questions right here how can i help you today all right so there we go it is running all right now me personally i prefer continue um to this shell gpt uh just i mean i just like using this it's a little bit nicer a little bit sleeker but this is cool as well all right. And then also, lastly, I'm showing you how to use something like Olama. Um, you can use any model. All right. For, for me, I was using Quen. So Quen 2, actually. So you would go to olama.com. I'll leave the link in the description. You download Olama if you don't have it already. Right. From that point on, you go to models up here. And... Then you can select any model you want. You can select Gemma 2, uh, Llama 3, Deep Seek Coder. I'm going to be doing more videos on all these different tools. Quen 2. So for us, we'll select Quen 2. And then you can select what model you want um, or what size you want. As you can see, I selected this one. It's only under, it's under a gigabyte. But, you know, these bigger ones are about 4 gigabytes. So we're using this one right here. And it's pretty good. So... This is, uh, you can read about it too. You can see the performance compared to Llama, Mistral, other tools. All right, so once you actually have the desired model that you want, let's just say we're using this one, you would just literally copy this command right here for whatever model you're using, and you would just run it in the command line right here. It would download the model, and from that point on, then you could go back to continue extension and then put it in the config file like i showed you you need to re go back and see what i actually put there and just rewind the video again and check, take a look there but you literally just do exactly that and then you'll be able to use that model for autocomplete and then you can use gpt40 mini for um generating or asking questions about the code base etc so uh, i've been finding it very useful i've been using it uh, a lot recently and using it for different projects and it's very very helpful so i hope you got some value from this video guys if you're new here uh, make sure to check out some of the other videos and if you got some value then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos we upload videos every single day on ai uh, open source you know ai tools automation marketing business coding etc um, all this to help you grow your business grow your knowledge around ai so I got a lot of cool stuff in the works and planned, so stay tuned for that. Also, too, guys, if you are new here and you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, link for that will be in the description down below, guys. We have about 750 to 800 members in our free Facebook group, free Discord channel, so you can check that out. And then lastly, too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, you can go pick up your copy. Link for that will be in the description down below, guys. All the links I mentioned will be down there too. So other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.